Hi, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how you can get four different rewards from the Ravager boss fight on Remnant 2. Before we do get into all of this today, if you do enjoy the video and find it helpful, please do hit like and share to support it and subscribe for more content. So first, the Ravager boss fight is a boss fight that you can find on Yaisha. This world will appear quite early in your playthrough or later on depending when the game gives it you. And what you are going to need to do is complete the objective, so complete the story. Now you can get two different stories when you start this world. And the Ravager boss is only going to appear at the end of one of them. Now if it's the first time that you're playing through this world, there's nothing much you can do about it. You're either going to spawn in the Forbidden Grove or the Red Throne. Now, for the storyline with the Ravager boss fight, you want to spawn in the Forbidden Grove. That's how you know you're on the right story. But if you don't get that one, then just complete the world. Then at the end, you'll be able to start it in adventure mode. And you're going to need to do this anyway, because to get all of the rewards from the Ravager, you've got to beat it four times. And by playing in adventure mode, you can keep on re-rolling the world to make sure you get the right storyline. And here are the four rewards you can get from the Ravager boss fight, depending on how you defeat it. There's this Ravager's Mark, which is an amulet, and it increases all damage dealt to bleeding targets by 20%, and the bonus increases to 30% for targets with 50% or lower health. Then there's this Merciless Long Gun. It fires two flight flechettes, and when weapon reticle is fully compressed, flechettes apply 500 bleeding damage over 10 seconds. This works very well with that amulet. And then we have two melee items. You have the Feral Judgment, a pair of gauntlets with sharp crystal blades that strike with vicious speed and velocity. And the Red Dose Staff, which is a magical stave rumored to contain a healing spirit within, strikes with wide swings. So as I said, depending on how you defeat the Ravager will depend on what rewards you get. And then you can use Adventure Mode to keep on going back and complete it a different way to get all four rewards. First up, we're going to start with the Feral Judgment Melee Weapon. Once you get to the Ravager and you have the conversation with him, he's going to ask you to kill the Doe. Now once he does this, rather than kill the Doe, just shoot the Ravager to start off the boss fight against him. The second you shoot him, you'll enter the boss fight. Now, now what you need to do here is kill the Doe after starting the boss fight. And you have quite a big window, so just make sure you get out of his way quickly, find some space and kill the Doe. And now you can just finish the boss fight as normal. You can die and start from checkpoint, that's okay. The second you killed the Doe while the boss fight has been initiated, you have met the requirements for this reward. At the end of the boss fight, when you defeat it, you're going to get an item that you need in order to craft the melee weapon. Next, we're going to cover the other melee weapon, which is the Red Doe Staff. You're going to need to start it all again, get back up to the Ravager boss, and then this time, when he asks you to kill the Doe, rather than kill it or shoot the Ravager, go up to it and revive it. This is going to initiate a cutscene where the Doe is going to attack the Ravager. It's going to leave one of its horns or antlers inside of it, and it's going to run away. After that cutscene is finished, you just got to defeat the Ravager again. And again, if you do die, that's okay. The requirements for this reward have been met. You can just restart. You don't need to heal the Doe again as it won't be there. You just got to defeat the Ravager to get the reward that's needed. Next is the Ravager's Mark Amulet. Again, get back up to the Ravager boss fight. It'll ask you to kill the Doe. Don't kill the Doe and attack the Ravager to initiate the fight. This time, rather than killing the doe mid-flight, what we need to do is make sure the doe stays alive. Now, just a couple of bullets is going to kill that doe. So make sure you get far away from it and bullets do not go anywhere near it. What's going to happen mid-fight is the Ravager is going to stop attacking you and it's going to run over to the doe. So make sure it stays alive so it can do that. And after it has finished eating the doe, it'll start attacking you again. Once that happens, the requirements have been met. And again, you can die at this point and restart. You won't need to repeat the process. You now just got to defeat the Ravager to get the reward. And finally, you want to get back up to the Ravager boss fight again. And this time, kill the Doe as he asks you to. That's how you get the final reward. These can be done in any order. 
out of the four rewards, the Ravager's Mark is something that you can equip right away. But the other three items basically are crafting materials for you to come and craft a boss weapon. So you need to head back to Ward 13 and speak to Ava, who can craft you boss weapons. Now, I've already crafted them all, but they're going to be found here. As you can see here with other boss weapons, it requires a special material, luminite crystal and scrap. And the special materials are what you get off the Ravager, depending on how you kill it. So just come here and spend those special materials and scrap into the blueprint and Ava will craft you all of these weapons. And that is it i hope you've enjoyed today's video i don't think there's any more secrets or any more different weapons you can get from the ravager i think that covers everything but it is a lot of playing it on adventure mode starting again going back through so it will take you some time if this video again has been helpful please do hit like and share to support it and subscribe for more content and until the next video thank you for watching this one stay safe and peace out